All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Steve. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now, today we have a very special episode because one of my patrons, Skates, he was like, Yo, T, I need you to check this out. So, recently I did a reaction to um, a new, uh, or it's a new band for me, but it's an older thrash band called Cyclone Temple. I was doing a video where I was talking about hidden gems of thrash metal music, and I was really kind of exploring lesser known uh, bands that made good music, but just kind of didn't get a lot of credit. And one of those bands was Cyclone Temple. So I thought the song I listened to, uh, why I thought it was dope. Uh, I didn't listen to it all the way through, but just a sample of it. Um, but my patron was like, yo, I need you to check out one of the members of the band. His name is Greg Fulton. And basically this guy, he was credited for pioneering the thrash sound in Chicago in the early eighties. This guy, he started playing when he was 19. Uh, he started a band, I believe it was called Snow White with the Z. And uh, there were some membership, uh, member sh shakeups. And so he started another band. They call it Cyclone Temple. There was uh, some more member shakeups. Sh uh, shake so he started another band and it was called Rebel Without Applause. And so today we're going to be checking out um, the early work from uh, Snow White. Cyclone Temple and on from Rebel Without Applause. And I, I kind of want to hear uh, the progression of uh, this gentleman in his guitar work, uh, as well as the style of the music that they're producing. Because although there were switch ups in the band, for the most part, I believe the main switch ups was just the vocalist. Uh, because I believe Snow White uh, is a female lead. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And. Uh, Let's hear what these guys got. Let's go. All right, this is an 88. This is Rest in Peace. All right, right now it's already beastly. This is solid as fuck. Jesus Christ. All right, let's keep going. Nasty. 
man. All right, guys, that was Snow White or Snow White. I, I'm not sure how if it is pronounced with the Z or the S. Um, but that was a monster of a song. That was a monster of a song. Dope ass track. Lots of energy. And just, oh, man, that's that thrash you can feel. Oh, Jesus. This came out in 88. And I'm looking it up here. Uh, so apparently they had replaced the um, the lead sing or the lead singer, the vocalist, the young lady. Uh, they replaced her with Brian Torch, and it was Greg Fulton um, and Scott Schaefer. I believe Scott Schaefer, he's a drummer. And so they carried on into the new band, which is Cyclone Temple. Now we listened to a minute of why in our previous video, but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out the whole song. And we're gonna see um, we're gonna see how how much these guys have progressed from that previous album, which was uh, let me see, Act of God. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm I'm stoked. I'm stoked. All right, let's go. <laughs> So it was uh, Sonny DeLuca and John Slattery, Slattery and Marco Salinas. Yo, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why metalheads love thrash music. Because it's like you get this downward spiral of energy while you're listening to the music. This is solid. I was always alone because I paid for myself. You never accept me. For me, but I had to pretend. What should I be? No one ever listens to me. It's all I die. Misery, my only friend. Why? Why? Why can I be me? Why? Why? Swallow my reality. Straight, straight. Someone listen to me. Straight, straight. 
So this was Cyclone Temple with Y. Um, like I said in the previous video we did, we only listened to like a minute of, a so of the song, but from that minute you could tell it was a solid song. Now, doing this full song, you can hear it in its full glory, and it delivers. I, I think that the, the, the song captured everything that... Uh, metalheads, thrash metalheads specifically love about the genre. It had the energy, the aggression, um, the lyrical content. It, 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 the lyrical content and context had like that teenage angst that you have when you feel like the world is against you. I didn't, I wasn't able to listen to everything uh, from the lyrics. I actually, I caught them late because at the beginning of the song, or for the most, for the most of the song, I was just jamming out. So, you know, a lot of times you end up catching that on your 10th listen. You start understanding what the lyrics are about. But, yeah, this was dope. This is a great follow-up to Snow White um, with the, the lead singer being swapped out. Uh, I think that this lead singer, Brian Torch, uh, his, his, his voice is definitely more prominent on the song versus the, the last uh, singer. Um, it, it, with with that one her voice was kind of buried under the instruments and you know it's probably a production issue but uh the musicianship is there like the the music is is really really good so we're gonna go ahead and keep things going now um at this point everybody left the band and there's only the two members i believe it was greg fulton the gu guitarist and uh, Scott Schaefer, the, the drummer. And so they started another band, which was called Rebel Without Applause. Uh, so this song is called Paper Thin. Uh, let's hear how they progress. Let's go. You know what? And one thing that's staying consistent with the sound is these deep, heavy, dirty ass riffs. 
in all three tracks, these riffs have been dirty as hell. Let's keep going. Like, if you're not banging your head, I don't know what to tell you. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Rebels Without Applause. So guys, you just heard the first two albums from these guys. Snow White. I'm just going to say Snow White because it's hard for me to say Snow White. So I'm going to just say Snow White. Cyclone Temple and now Rebel Without Applause. Snow White came out in the mid 80s. Cyclone Temple was, I believe, early 90s. And Rebel Without Applause, which sounds different. It's not thrash at all. So the only thing I can conclude, in which I, I seen it here on the wiki, was that um, thrash was dying or dead, and the band had to change their sound, especially since... Um, they didn't have Brian Torch, their lead singer. And so they did what a lot of bands did during this time, which was uh, change their sound and uh, down tune the guitars. It sounds more heavy. Uh, there was a lot of grunge in here. 
in the sound. There's a lot of grunge in here, but it's new metal. Um, you can hear how ta talented in the first two albums, I mean, in all, in all the albums, in the songs, you can hear how talented Greg is as a guitarist, but you just like in new metal fashion, they don't have solos. And so towards the end of the song, they had this, you know, it was, it was kind of like a solo, but they did that in a lot of new metal tracks where they had these weird guitar distortions that didn't really sound like a solo, but it was just a, uh, just a place where they could put that kind of sound during the outro. And to me, it, it, it kind of, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of like muffles or st uh, 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 hides the fact that this guy is a solid guitarist. But I know that a lot of metalheads probably didn't like this album because, uh, especially if you were a fan of their older work, because from my experience, uh, traditional metalheads don't like new metal. Now, I like new metal, so I think this track was an absolute banger. It sounded very similar to Seven Dust. And I, I, you know, I, and there's nothing wrong with that because I enjoy that band. But I know that a lot of you are probably like, nah, this, this suffered from, you know, that 90s, mid 90s metal shakeup and everything, you know, but this is the band reinventing themselves to stay relevant. So I, I liked it. I know some of y'all are going to have mixed reviews about it, but you cannot deny the first two albums that we just listened to. The first two, the, the songs from the first two albums that we listened to were monster of uh, monsters of tracks. Dope ass thrash metal tracks. So I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking more into uh, their first, first and second album. And then I'll probably be exploring uh, Rebels Without Applause later on. But yeah, this was, this was really cool. So shout out to you, Skate. Thank you for putting me onto this, man. Um, I, Greg Fulton, this is a guy that I, I never heard about. Nobody's ever said anything about him. But obviously, this guy, he was kicking it and doing it before a lot of your favorite artists. So, yeah, definitely check him out. I'll leave some information down below in the comment section uh, so you guys can go ahead and uh, further explore his music, these albums, and, uh, and see what he's up to. But anyway, as always, guys, uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Like this video if you're new here. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Peace! <laughs>